So SEC 560 is, um, it is a foundational pen testing class, right? Um, one of the things that makes 560 amazing is it teaches workflow. So you get to sit in this class and you get to go through all of the stages of a test from beginning, right? How do I write a report? How do I scope it? All the way to a full on end to end test, right? And one of the things I love about the course is it breaks down every topic into little bite sized chunks. So you get to absorb the material and you get to think about it in its own little bubble. And then at the end of the course, you get to do it end to end, right? And so when you take a, when you take some of these other courses that teaches you pen testing, um, some of them are fantastic, uh, but what they may lack is background. Like why is it that I'm doing the thing I'm doing? Or why is it that I'm running these tools? Or what is the context here? And 560 kind of boils it down to, this is the reason that you want to do it this way, right? Here's, here's a methodology for how to approach a network pen test. And so that's made it a really, really uh, amazing class because it's got such a, a great storyline behind it. You know, the, the traditional student that you would think would come to class is a pen tester. And that's actually not the case. Um, most of the students that we get in class range from I've had product managers, I've had um, defenders, I've had legal people in the class, really interesting, managers, um, procurement people, and um, everybody has their own reason, right? So if you ask a pen test student, they really want to know how to do pen testing. If you ask a defender, they want to know why is it that, or how is it that the pen test team is doing their work so that I know how to build a stronger system right, which is great. Because if you don't know how the uh, pen testers, the attackers are working, it's really hard to try to build a defense against them. Um, I've had legal people come in and say, well, I'm sitting in a room and for whatever legal reason, I have to be involved in pen test work, so I've seen that. Uh, procurement people want to know how to buy a good test. Managers are being asked to perform or to obtain a pen test from a company that might do PCI, uh, maybe they have to do PCI testing or something like that. And so what will happen is they would want to know that they're choosing the right uh, pen test company. And this is a way for them to get an idea for what that looks like. So I've seen all sorts of people do it. They all have their reasons. And what's really great is they're all having fun while learning. It's a great class for that. <music> some of the things that you'll, you'll get out of it. Um, I think, number one, you'll get out of it a great methodology for pen testing. Um, you'll learn a brand new skill set, um, whether it's uh, password cracking and why it works, um, some of the new tips or tricks, um, how does a network scanner work, that kind of stuff, you'll get that out of it, right? Um, you'll also get a lot of uh, tooling and, and mechanics around that. Um, more importantly, if you're really uh, doing this and you've only done uh, some limited amount of testing, maybe just on vulnerability scanning, um, you'll get a better appreciation for what comes next, right? So um, I think some of those key topics uh, you'll get out of it. Um, and that's really the important part is uh, even if you're not going to be doing pen testing as a day-to-day -day activity, you'll have an appreciation for how can I make sure that what I put in um, actually works, right? Because now you can do the testing yourself. <laughs>